All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of After I Do. We are back. It is your main man, Royale Watkins, and this beautiful woman, Miss 2013. Wife. Wife 2013. Hold on. We got to... We got Killer Spinners. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. You can follow us on Twitter at Watch This Right Here. After I do underscore TV. Uh-huh. Got all of the tags. We're in the mix. I'm excited. Um, I don't know. Is this New Year's or season two? Or we somebody's like we, I know. They can't wait for season <laughs> two of After I Do. I didn't know we would have a season one. <laughs> the, we had 20, 28 in the can. That's a season. 28 in the can. 28. Look at this lady Eight. talking all these episodic uh this lingo. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm you in the business it. now, huh? <laughs> That's right. Um, I'm excited to be here. I <sighs> I miss you guys. I miss you too. I'm going through a transitional stage. With what? I I'm With, growing lots. You They're about this big. Yes. <laughs> And they looking kind of crazy. I don't know if I have the patience. Stay tuned. Okay, yeah, stay tuned for that. Didn't even ask me uh, what I thought about. Oh, you don't? No, it's my head. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. God bless you. That's right. He's your. I'm asking when you cut your head bald or do a number one, number two. That's your business. Shave my chest hair and all of that. Your pubic hairs. All of it. Manscape. That's get it together. Get it together. I'm getting my life together. Yep. I do me. God bless you. And see. No drink. No. 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 Ten thirty. No. No. Ten thirty. Right now it's eight thirty. Okay. 10.30 is on deck, though. Trust and believe. I'm trying All right. to figure out what I'm going to have. Good for you. Let's get into this episode. Um, because, you know, we got something that I wanted to talk about to discuss, which I always think is relevant and fun. So let's get into it. Um, last week, week before last, you borrowed my truck. You went into my car and you found a check that was written to uh, a friend of mine. An ex-girlfriend. An ex-girlfriend. I lent an ex-girlfriend a couple of dollars. Without asking me. Without asking you. Yeah. Right. And Epic fail. Whoa. I shouldn't even be talking to him. Now, you hold on. Be... Okay, so you come in all uh, crazy in the face. What is this? You lent her blah, 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 you know, and, you know, I think... <clears throat> The question becomes, do, you know, I think your issue was that you felt like I was lending her money without, like, hiding it or whatever. And as I suggested to you, there was no, I wasn't hiding it. The check was right there. In fact, it was a check that I wrote. If I was trying to hide it, I would have found a way to give her I didn't really say, I wasn't upset because I thought you was hiding it. My point was, I don't want you lending her no money. Oh, okay. The ex should not be asking you to borrow money. Hello, we can't take care of her. <clears throat> she a single woman. If she can't make it, too bad. Call your mama, your daddy. Your, no, we don't need to get into it. Just don't call you. And the fact that she feels comfortable calling you is an issue. Because you should, the minute she says, can I borrow some money? Your next response should be what? And go. Let me see if I got it. <laughs> wrong. Whoa, whoa. That's the whoa. wrong response. Whoa, whoa. We the, do not hit. I told you what the response was. We do not hit. You were supposed to say, let me check with my wife. Okay, so we discussed that, but we do not hit. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> the point is, no, you're laughing, but I'm going to hit your ass back. I wouldn't. I we would Whoa, whoa. Oh, are you? I dropped the M bomb. Yeah, yeah, get it together. So at any rate, let's get to the point. The point is that I lent the next girlfriend um some money without having a discussion with my wife. And the thing that I told wife here is that it wasn't a lack of respect. If like if I was trying to sneak and do it, um, then that would be one thing. It was just a lack of consideration. It was an amount that I felt comfortable that I could write a check, lend it to her. She's going to give it back. And I felt like that was, it was done. But April came across the check and, you know. Blacked out. I couldn't even see. Yeah, blacked out. Like, oh. And it wasn't, it's not like it's a thousand dollars or not. It was just a couple of dollars. But the point is, 
get a couple of dollars. It was so insignificant. You can get a couple of dollars from somewhere else. She don't need to be calling you. Okay. So, but let's stay on task. The question is, if an ex-girlfriend reaches out or or, boyfriend boyfriend reaches out, do you have a responsibility to share that information and get your your significant other's permission to lend that person money? All right. I really I'm interested to get some feedback on this, because, again, uh, to me, it wasn't any real money. Uh, I guess April wife here is caught on the principle of, hey, this is something that we should discuss internally. And if it was real money, then I would have went to her and said, hey, so and so needs to borrow some money. Are you cool with that? But it was such an insignificant, insignificant amount that I just like even like without even thinking, oh, yeah, I got that. Cool. No problem. Just give it back. So y'all tell us what you think. Chime in. It's your man, Royal Watkins. This one right here is white. I'm speechless. I don't, you know, y'all have no idea what I go through. Oh, boy. Lack of consideration. Okay. Just... Here we go. And we're back for 2013. God bless y'all. And hold on. Hit that share button on these videos. Come on, wife. Tell me honestly what you think about that situation. I want to know. Am I wrong? Wasn't real money. Let's go. It doesn't matter. I don't care if it was 25 cents. Don't call you for it. Okay. Call somebody else. Here we go. Yeah, I wanna floss it up. Come on, uh-huh. all across the board, we burn it up. Yeah. Drop a little paper, baby, uh-huh. toss it up. Yeah. Slacking on your pimping, uh-huh. turn it up. See the money in the bag. Next to row, sign a check for your hoe. Jigga style is love, X and O. Uh-huh.